we're back. Going to the roof. So we got a no heat call today. Uh, and uh, it's uh, calling for heat at the thermostat, but it's not heating. So there's two of them. One of them's throwing some heat. It has really bad ducting because the heat's definitely not uh, even. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and see what we can do. Uh, it's a nice Sunday morning. I was a lucky one to be on call this week. Oh, look at that. It's a nice ladder that's gonna slip and slide. All right, so we're headed over there. So I'm gonna get over there. So here we go. Oh, this is gonna be fun getting back up here. All right, we're gonna, this whole roof is all frosted. Whoa. Uh, gotta love it. Okay, so we've gotten to where we need to go. This is the first unit, and she's working. Total trash, as you can see. Our second unit's over there, and that's our problem child. Now here she is. Well, she's calling for heat right now, and I got nothing. So let's open her up and see what's going on. So here we go. Alrighty. Well, gas is on, so that's a good sign. What's going on here? So first things first, we want to make sure we're getting power. Uh, you never know with that. Where's our contactor? There it is. So I'm trying this new neck mount thing, so I hope. I hope you guys could see what I'm seeing. We'll see. Okay. All right, well, that's a good reason why it's not working. I got no power. So, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check our disconnect. And it is in the on position. Of course, it's not gonna stay open. All right, well. No fuses. Go ahead and see if we have voltage going on. I think it's the bottom ones. Oh, oh, maybe the top ones. Okay, this is frustrating. Somebody turned the breaker off. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, so we got to go back down to the space and find the breaker. Alrighty then, so as you saw, the breaker was tripped, so I went ahead and turned off the thermostat. Uh, before I plug this back in, I'm going to go ahead and just check for shorts. Um, so I don't want to have to go back all the way down there. In order to do that, I have to go all the way over there, go up that, um, up that wall, walk all the way around where it's flat, hop up, go up, hop up, go down the ladder, go down the stairs, go all the way back around, through the door over there, and then all the way into the back. So. We're gonna check for shorts first. <laughs> so a quick, easy way of doing things is you just wanna go ahead and um, turn the power off and then find where your power goes in and we'll just see if we have, oh, there we go. So, yeah. It looks like we have some kind of short on the main power lines, that's not good. See, so if we check from here to here, it's fine. If we check from here to here, we have a short. If we check here to here, we have a short. Here to here, we have a short. Okay. So generally, we shouldn't be getting any kind of continuity. Um, now I check, I'm gonna check between line one and line two. Yeah, so there's some kind of short going on here. So we need to find it. So we'll go ahead and do our obvious visual inspection see what we can see 
Okay, so I have the transformer taken out of the circuit. We're gonna go ahead and test it. I'm not getting any continuity between line one and line two anymore. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and plug her in and see what happens. And hopefully I don't pop the fuse again. And uh, nothing's touching, so let's try this again. Otherwise I'm gonna have to go back all the way down there and do it again. So, yippee. Please don't pop, please don't pop. Looking good. Let's check to see if we have voltage. All right, we have 240. Sweet, so we're gonna engage the uh, contactor manually just to make sure it's not the compressor. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and push in the contactor just to make sure. Well, there's no short in the compressor. Sounds terrible. So yeah, it looks like we have a bad transformer. So I'm gonna go see if I have one on the truck and we'll get that swapped out, plug, hook it all back up and hopefully everything works. Okay, so we need to see what voltage we need. It's 240. So for this old one, they were using white and red. So it's 240 volts. Now I don't have a 50 VA transformer, I only have a 40, but it's close enough. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to come back and put in a 50, but it's Sunday and everything's closed. So for this one here, this is a standard universal transformer. Red and green, that's going to be our, our secondary side of the transformer, so that's our low voltage. And then our primary, we have options, because this one can do 120, two, uh, 208, or 240. So for COM, it's going to be the white wire, so that's going to be your line 2. And your line 1 is going to differentiate... Uh, depending on the voltage you have. So we're using 240, so that means we need to use orange one. So we're gonna be using the white and orange wire for our high voltage, and the red and green wire for our low voltage. Um, and then the red and black wire, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cap those off. So we're gonna get this all wired up and installed, so here we go. Alrighty then, we got our new transform plugged in. Uh, we have no call for anything. We're gonna go ahead and um, Plug in the disconnect. Now before it would immediately pop the breaker, so hopefully it doesn't do that anymore. So here we go. Okay, so we got her figured out. Um, I thought, uh, so I disconnected pretty much. I know that the compressor and the condenser fan motor are good because those came on. Uh, when we disconnected uh, the transformer, so, and, and I tested the transformer, it's actually fried. But I think what happened was um, the blower motor's dead. So like it's stuck, it's barely moving. Um, so I think that thing shorted and it took out the transformer because these are actually plugged into the same spade. Um, cause I, I, so I disconnected the inducer and, um, disconnected the, the blower motor, plugged it in. Everything was fine. Reconnected the inducer, plugged it in, didn't pop, plugged the blower motor back in and it popped. So it's gotta be the blower motor at this point. Um, I've been here for a long time and it's a Sunday and I want to go home, but uh, it looks like it's a blower motor. I don't have the mo blower motor, thank goodness. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to order it and come back. So we'll go ahead and come back and try to replace that blower motor and see if that fixes our issue. Um, as far as I know, I've pretty much checked every single relay wire, everything on this system, and I cannot find any other short. So it's got to be that blower motor. Um, so yeah, I came down to the point where I just started disconnecting stuff and plugging it in and then, you know walking up and down the stairs and yeah but anyway uh so we'll be back once we get the blower motor and get that installed and hopefully that fixes our issue um i can't find any other signs of shorts anywhere else so i'm pretty sure that's gonna be it okay so we're gonna go ahead and take this blower motor out so in order for it to get this one out you have to actually take the top off i'm just using the panel to hold it up out of the way this whole thing just comes up like that so we're gonna go ahead and get that done with. This guy, we're gonna just pull it straight up. Like that. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, so we got her all put back in there. Um, I had to switch the rotation. Uh, I haven't turned it on yet, uh, but I, every time I do a unit like this, you always have to switch the rotation because it always spins backwards. 
Um, that's why I'm leaving this open. I got my new capacitor. Of course, they gave me the wrong size. It's supposed to be a 20, they gave me a 15. So always make sure you have the right one. Um, and uh, we got it all hooked up. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the disconnect. And then uh, hopefully it, if it doesn't pop the breaker, we're gonna go ahead and put it all back together and cycle everything. Okay, here we go, moment of truth. Please don't pop, please don't pop. All right, we are good. And I think it's actually spinning in the correct direction. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together and call it a day, but that's, uh, that's how you find a, a short. Um, and as you can see here, I actually found the short. I don't know if you can see that, it's right there. So that was rubbing up against the case and that's just a direct short. So that's why we were popping breakers. So we're gonna go ahead and put her back together. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching.